Well, good morning, everybody. You know, everywhere I look, I'm thinking we're heading into a period of massive, massive job destruction because of technology. That artificial intelligence <laughs> will substantially disrupt jobs is a much more certain proposition than climate change. And I have no doubt at all about climate change. One of the hardest things for the human mind to grasp is the power of an exponential. What happens when something keeps doubling, doubling, and doubling? Every technology has a dark side. Fire was the original technology, which could be used to keep us warm or to burn down houses. Our children learn differently, yet we haven't changed the educational system to adapt to their learning. They want flexible jobs, living wages, affordable housing, and affordable student loans. Quite frankly, no one's ever going to leave your basement if they can't afford to leave your basement. We're the ones, as taxpayers, that invested in the technology that's unemploying everybody. That's what basic income is. It's return on our investment. So a recent favorite study showed that it makes people really uncomfortable when you ask them to touch a robot's private parts. As technology evolves, we have to ask ourselves, what will higher education even mean 10, 20, 50 years from now? The days when you could stock up on a four-year college degree and then spend that knowledge over the next 30, those are gone. You need to be constantly in the flow and stocking up. If this problem is going to be solved, it's going to be solved by us together. And we have to figure out what we're going to do with it because the choices we make will determine our future. If we want to solve these problems, we're going to have to think about ways to empower our young people that are very different from what we're doing now. Uh, I'm sure when you saw that, some of you found it very uh, exciting and some of you found parts of it very scary. 